All right, welcome everybody. So today is part two of our curbless shower on the slab. Make sure that you saw the part one, it'll be right here, uh, and then come back to see part two. So today's goal is to set the pan, get this uh, three piece clamping ring in and you know ready to go, and then set the pan. If you guys wanna learn how to build bathrooms, make sure that you smash in that subscribe button, you're hitting that like button just cause you like your boy, and then. So if you have a questions on how to renovate your bathroom, you're renovating a bathroom on your own right now, and you're kind of stuck, I created a Facebook group just for you, my subscribers, where you can ask those questions and get answers. We have over 5,000 members there now. If you ask a question today, you'll get an answer. It's free. It's just something uh, of a community that I wanted to build for you guys so I can be more of help. So make sure that you go and click that link down below. But let's get into our video. All right, so this is called a three-piece clamping ring. It's called a three-piece clamping ring because there's three pieces and a clamping ring. You have your drain, basically the stuff that you stand on. Then you have your clamping ring here. It kind of goes like this. You take this piece out. So what happens essentially is this goes kind of like this. It will be sticking out through your pan. Like that. And then this piece will go on top of it, clamp it. We're going to put like adhesive and all this stuff around it. And then it's going to be done like that's literally all it takes but in order for us to do that this has to get um glued in right here so what we need to do is measure this depth first so we have you know let's say three inches i'm going to dig a little channel right around the pipe here All right, so in retrospect, I probably should have just set this yesterday, make sure that it was nice and even, but I was in a rush and honestly kind of beat up from doing all that work. But all right, so now we have to cut this down to actually be able to fit this. So if you see, because this is basically where we want it to be, we want to cut it like inch and three quarters off. So then we're about there. So if this is even right now with my, um, with, with my floor, I need to come down inch and three quarters. So that will put me about right there. I'm just gonna put a little mark there. And the way to cut an inside of a pipe is you're going to use a pipe cutting tool like this. It's pretty cool actually. So try to basically, I can't do it this way, but try to eyeball it here. So watch. And then just make sure that this fits nice. Skadoosh. All right, so we're gonna glue it in. First thing you need is a cleaner or like a primer, just like so, around the pipe itself. Kind of get that cleaned up. Then you got your glue. And now we can start working on our pan and figuring out how to set our pan. All right, so we got our drain done. Next, we're going to start setting the pan. The first thing we have to do is we got to mix some thinset. For a pan like this, I'm using large format tile thinset. Typically, that is A-OK. -okay. So let's mix it. All right, so thinset mix while that's sitting. We're going to grab a sponge and get any dust right off of it. All right, so I'm gonna be using a half inch trowel here, and I'm just gonna get some thin set on here and use the flat side to kind of skin coat the whole thing first to make sure that I have really good bonds with, you know, in all those nooks and crannies here. All right, so now I'm just gonna dump my thin set out I usually start from the end and then work this way because this way I'm not kind of leaning on the stuff that I've worked on. But again, half inch trowel here. Directional troweling is important. All right, so this right here is the most important step to all of this because if you don't put this 
KBRS adhesive around the perimeter here, your shower will just fail. <laughs> so this is high stakes right here. Okay, so as I'm kind of back buttering my pan, I'm going to actually kind of key it in, meaning do that versus just back buttering like this. Just because again, I want to increase the chances of getting that 100% coverage. All right, so we got our pan. Now we gotta put it in. And again, you see my floor trowel stuff is the same as direction as my pan. Right here. Skadoosh. So I'm not gonna walk on it just yet. I have two screws from there. Because uh, when I dry fit it, it was kind of hitting. So. I'm going to put these in right now. All right, so those are in. So now what we do is we have our clamping ring. So this is the clamping ring. And this doohickey has to go on here. But, you know, it's kind of pressed up. So you will have to kind of come in here, push on this, and sort of wrestle it a little bit like that. Push on that and then twist. Push, twist. Push, twist. There we go. And then you see how I'm tightening kind of that piece, this piece. You can see kind of how this is getting squeezed. Squeezed right there. Yeah. This is really, really good sign because this is when you know that you're getting that perfect waterproof uh, system here. Right now, it's important that you can set this level. So you're gonna get your level on here, put it right in the middle, look at it this way. That's pretty good. It does have a little bit of play, the drain for this exact purpose. So if I can set it right there, that's awesome. And then this way, that's perfect. This is very, very important because once we do a large format tile, you want this thing to be level. Otherwise, there's gonna be a little lippage on the, tie, on the drain and then you'll see, um, a little pooling, and we don't want that. All right, so the last thing you have to do with this is start walking around on it. I like to walk around, start from the center, and then work, work your way out. You hear that? So that's the air escaping. But this is why, like, I st if you start on the outside, and then you, you, you basically will close it in. But if you start on the inside, and then kind of work out, that from your corners it is pointed towards there like it is right here uh, point it right towards the drain same thing here we're pitched right towards the drain let me grab a small one so right here we're pitched towards the drain right over here we are pitched towards the drain here we have that pitch and here we have that pitch. This is why I really, really like using just the pre-made pans. You don't have to mess around with them. Um, and then this is a good start to our curl the shower. Next, uh, tomorrow, we're actually going to be doing our framing for the tub. And then we're going to be finishing up this shower system. So make sure that you're smashing that subscribe button. Make sure you're smashing that like button. Because tomorrow is going to be the next step to building this bathroom that I'm going to show you.